Family, friends, and fellow gamers, welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome. Let's get some grump on in Banished. Resume and get running, my people. Get running. And we're actually going to slow them down to five before it says so we can figure out what's going on. Now, the first thing I noticed when I looked at this, where the heck did our food go? So with that said, we're going to do a little something here. We're going to pull everybody off of their job because we want to direct where they go and kind of where they go, what they collect, what they're doing. We do need some lumber or some logs. We do have a forester working. So our node is pretty much fully manned with the exception of the um, woodcutter who's kind of making logs as we're getting them in. But you know what? That's all good. I'm going to drop two people down to builders just because I laid out a lot of roads. And you can also see that I've got a lot of stuff that I need cleared Okay, rather than get to the point where our people are going to have to run all over this map to get stone, I'm going to go ahead and drop in our first quarry right here. And then that way, if I need the stone, I'll just throw somebody into the quarry. I know this sounds so freaking <laughs> terrible. I'm going to throw them in there and well, I would say something a little bit worse, but you know what? We are family friendly, so we're going to leave it at that. Also, I think what we're going to do is our next home that we need to build, we're probably going to build this one right here, just so we can get a dedicated team into the mines. Maybe, sort of. Anyway, this is going to need iron. Do I even have iron in my inventory? No. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw somebody here. Oh, wow, the miner is working. Good. So that miner will be already producing iron for us. Good, 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 good. All right, we like it when things work out. Now, I did have a well right here in the middle of the road and I thought I would get real artsy and kind of make a road going around it but you know what that seemed impractical so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build the road straight through and since I've got this gap here I'm just going to go ahead and drop the well right off of the road over here but that's something we're not concerned with at this moment I don't know why I wanted to clear this area, but obviously if it is a hill, nothing is going to grow on it. So that might have been my reasoning. Also, we're going to drop some buildings down over here. Now, what I did here, smoke and mirrors, baby. We got ahead and we built a second node over here. And that's the reason for this. I'm going to put a road right up the center of these two. So the gatherer here is the farthest in here to the right. If I come here, uh, this person is the farthest to the right. Let's pin him. And, oh my gosh, sorry guys, i got to check this. Do, 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 and I don't think so. My kids all know what that sound is, so... Okay, anyway, you can see our little gap that we have between the two nodes. And if we take our little... Ah, i got to pin you, otherwise you'll go away. So here, if I take my road symbol, you'll see I can put a road right through the center. And then that's what the plan is. The only problem is I cannot come down to here because of this hill. So, anyway... What else is going on? Yeah, so we got a mirrored node over here. So we're actually going to have two 
nodes working. Okay, food appears to be going up. So I think what our scare may have been was the... Um, the scare might have been somebody moving in and grabbing a whole mess of food. And now I'm going to tell you something. This is not the normal. <coughs> this is not a normal pattern for this to go this low. And the reason this is going so low is because I'm not getting protein. So I think I'm going to have to do something. I cannot rely on this alone. And I've got one of two options that I can do. I can either open up this second node over here and try to get some more ducks and leather, or I can throw a fisherman in. And you know what I'm going to do? Okay, let's throw... Wow, we got... This is ready to be built. I think I, I know right now my builders are probably out making all the roads that we have slated. But you know what? That's good. I am actually going to open this note over here. Because you're really the last thing I need. What I need is my hunter and I need my gatherer. But you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and get the forester in there also. Probably should have brought them down so we can watch the progress on how they build this. So let's go ahead and just pin you right there. We'll take our Forester, and it'll get pinned right there. And then we're going to take our Hunter, and we're kind of out of room down there. But we'll just kind of watch this. Family count. Now we got six families and seven homes. So, holy nuts on a biscuit. Did I just open up a home someplace and not even know it? And I'll bet that's it right there. Well, we can't prevent them from moving in. But if there is no work over here, there's really no reason for anybody to move in. So, we'll just... Play it by ear and find out what's going on. Okay, let's take a moment to analyze what we need, what's going on. They've got all the materials that they need to build this out. I may as well go ahead and throw this in there too. So just just so they get everything built. The reason, it, the thing is though, if I open this up, they're going to stop everything they're doing here and then jump on this. It's just Murphy's Law. Oh, and we're going to need that barn. And you know what I might just do? I'm going to go ahead and throw a hunter-gatherer in there. The families, oh my gosh, it is going to be a long time before this goes up because we've got students. Oh, crumbs on a biscuit. It's all good. It's good in the hood, man. We'll work with it. Uh, this house is definitely going on hold in favor of one of these houses going in. So, let's take one that's close to civilization, like this one. Move it up here. And there is our game plan. Now, if I put people into these buildings or these jobs and this house is built, common sense would say they're going to move in. If they do or not, that's another story. But anyway, yeah, I'm really freaking over my food status here because we should easily be rocking 2,500, 3,000 right now. Red Ketchup, you did something. You did something to our stats. I can smell it. So, let's go ahead. They've all got what they need. I'm going to go ahead and kick another builder in. I wonder who our teacher is. 
and I just want to see if it is our no good ooh but they are getting up there in age so because neither of our founders are the teacher I'm actually going to gamble again and put four builders out there and because I want my stuff done now I, I'm an you know what I'm not an instant gratification person but for the sake of the game it sounds good so yes I am anyway this is what we wanted to see so now we got a hunter and we're getting a gatherer so right away I am gonna pop two out of here I'm gonna go come on build it four more nails Four more swings of the hammer. Boom, boom. And now we got us another hunter. Cha-ching. And we got us another gatherer. Cha-ching. Perfecto. The tiny barn. That, that actually is the next thing I would have wanted them to build. So, holy nuts. At least I can say that my bannies have common sense. I mean, you've seen some playthroughs where <laughs> they just don't do what they're supposed to. These these guys are pretty awesome. I like my bennies. So here we go. This limit, you know what I'm going to do with it. Yep, you guessed it. So cha-ching, 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 and brr, boom, boom. There we go. And turn you off for now because we don't need stonage at this moment. Uh, this forester here, I've only got that open for reference. I really don't need it. So, because I don't need it... You know what? I still like to keep it pinned. And that's going to go... I'll put that up over here. So, those are my two foresters now. And the only reason I do that is because I don't want to build anything inside of their arch. I think they have cleared everything off of here. Let's go ahead and remove that. So cha-ching. Oh, no, hello. I don't know what's going on. It is not letting me remove that. Oh, haha. -ha. How about that? And now I'm going to go ahead and build my road through there. So I'm going to need this one up, and I'm going to need... Uh, is it this one? Yeah. So I'm going to pin you. I'm going to pin you so you guys don't go away. And then I'm going to take my roadage. Roadage. Dirt road. And we're going to run right down here until we get to the main road. Just like that. Cha-ching. And we're going to connect our main road. Now, did I go a little bit below that? I did. Okay, I guess that's it. What's wrong with that spot there? What is wrong with this spot? Whoa, something's going on. Is that a piece of hill that we forgot to take out? Then I don't know why it would let me build my road through. I should have gotten a red little red symbol there. Anyway, let's re reanalyze what's going on here. I also came up with something here. I don't know if I really want my domesticated animals right here. I was thinking maybe put them inside here. And then we can still build out here with some four, four wides. And the only thing that, the only confliction that I'm going to have with that Oh, I don't know. Am I going to lose my domesticated animals if I... 
I'm going to take a chance and, and get rid of it because I, I'm not ready to go three here. I still want to keep the four deep running. If I lose the domesticated animals, I, I lose them. And that's a shame because I... Oh my gosh, I got them back. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But now, where, what are we looking at here for, for material? Wow, look at the cider, 189. My, my people are freaking happy. First thing we're going to do now is address our health issue. And the easiest way to address the health issue, hey man, our, our kids are graduating. The easiest way to take care of that health issue right now is to get an herbalist in. So I'm going to do that. You know what I'm going to do with this limit. You guessed it. Boom. There we go. So we're going to get an herbalist in. It's, it's an easy way to... This, it's an easy way to get maybe a half... Well, there's already a half... Uh, a heart so here's the here's my thinking even though we already had herbs in stock for this to go up I think somebody actually has to be working here to administer kind of like a hospital will not work unless you put a physician in it so maybe the or for that sake any building won't work unless it has somebody in it Okay, 13. I can't build my well. I did drop a well right there, but I'm not concerned with that right now. Hey, my herb builder got... Our iron should be up. 23? Yeah, let's pull them. You're done ironing. You know, as a matter of fact, you know where I'm going to toss you right now? Get us some stone. Boom. And you know what? No. Scratch that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I am just freaking squirreling all over the place right now. How's our housing count doing? Seven and seven. We're golden. Like I said, this is the next house we're going to build. But the one thing I'm going to pull out of this area right now is collect almost everything. Does that include stone? It does. Ores and stones. Now, even though we're running a red ketchup mod in here, I don't know what other um who do i want to go that far out who do i want to go that far up ah negative negative break break let's go here oops too far there we go and even that's outside of my circle there we go let's take that bunch and we'll take oops, and that's good enough We'll take that bunch. Is there anything over here that we're missing? Nope. And that should actually get us the stone that we're going to need to build our wells. You know, I'm I'm usually not a big... Then again, if you saw my first season, you're going to say, what do you mean you don't build wells? You built wells all over the place. Yeah, I did. Okay. You got me. You got me with my hand in the cookie jar. Okay, so right there, or do we want to go up one? We can go there, or we can go up one. And I'm thinking up one. Because <sighs> the reason I'm thinking that is maybe... Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to make this place look aesthetically pleasing. So we'll build the well there. I'm going to let them build it because our disasters are on. But what we have learned from... What we learned from Season 1 is... 
don't build orchards and crop fields. Uh, also, stay away from pastures. I, I'm going to really, 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 really try to live off the land. I'm going to keep, whoa, and there goes our founding father, Burl. Oh, my goodness. You know what? It's too late for him, but at least we can get the cemetery built for his wife. Oh, yeah. Didn't even think about that yet. Hey, what's going on here? Are we getting protein from the additional hunter? Duck meat? That's pretty nice. And what's going to happen here is we're going to have to drop... Where's my venison? We still have no venison. Once again, red ketchup? What the heck did you do with our deer? As you can tell, I've, I'm not used to the red ketchup mod. I normally only play with mega mod because that gives us more than we know what to do with. But I saw a lot of different varieties in the game that I just wanted to play with. And so I started uploading everything and I'm really starting to think that something um, is affecting the the gameplay that we would normally have in Mega Mod. And you know what I was going to do here? I was actually going to take this little stockpile and run it out to where the road come where the road edge is here. That they still have plenty to work with here. They've got plenty to work with here. How's my housing count doing? We're still seven and seven. But check this out. Thirteen adults. Actually, that's interesting. Oh, that's right. Because we lost a husband. So, we got five students. We got more students than we do children right now. You believe that? Okay, can I build or can we can we manufacture anything that we would normally do? Flax, yes. That is my linen weaver. Are you the linen weaver? You're the linen weaver. Get in there. Make me some linen cloth. Linen cloth goes for eight, guys. Eight units. If you get flax naturally, there's no reason you shouldn't have that. Blueberries. That's not going to make a lot of cider, but what I really want is this number to go up. Come on. I know I get oats naturally. There we go, 28 of them. So I'm going to keep my stable hand in full time because the oats will go away. And look at that. These, they've already grabbed them, and it went into here. Good. So this is one thing I want to keep manned 24-7. Okay, what else are we doing? People are getting healthier. That was scary. I, I very rarely see that. I've got over 6,000 hours invested in this game. And it is rare to drop below four. So red ketchup, you're mean. That's all I got to say. I know we don't have to do this, but it's aesthetically pleasing. Boom. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Should we start introducing some fish into our diet? Why not? So let's go ahead and at least get one person here. Cha-ching. And then we're going to watch how... Oh, no. I wanted them in this one. Because I'm thinking about dropping maybe something over here. They need another storage. 
And did I build those? Did I slate those for building? No, I didn't. I think right here I was going to plant. No, here they are, two shanties over here. Now I may drop a shanty in right over here as well. Haven't yet figured that out. But I should probably do another storage here. Just trying to figure out how to make it look good. Because they're going to have to dump their stuff someplace. Um, I don't I, I don't want to dwell on this right now. This is another reason. I, I know I say this in every episode. I am not a good builder when it comes to building on the fly. A mead person here, he's going to need honey. These little honey bee shelters right here, they're small, but oh my God, do they pack a punch. These guys can put out a heck of a quantity. And do we want to go that direction with it? Let's go this direction. And I'm going to plop him right next to our... Our brewer and we're gonna work with one for now but there's always a possibility I might just run bee shelters all the way along here another place I like to put them and I'm almost second-guessing myself right now so let's pause is right inside here Because there's really not much you can build there. Maybe throw a stockpile in or something. What did I want to put here? I wanted to put the animal pens. Let's see. Let's do this real fast. Okay, animal pens. Let's go from, from biggest to smallest. So we'll go milk pen first. One, two, three. If we drop a milk pen here... And then we go one, two, three. Uh, we can drop in, let's go four, make it look nice. There's the wool pen. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four. There is the chicken coop. And then we can go with the venison butcher next to that, and then drop in the honey. I think we're going to do that. Let me go ahead and pull this honey away from here for now. I hope I didn't. Eh, I did have some resources there. And let's go ahead and go with that build over here. So the first thing we're going to do is let's get them running again. Is we're going to drop in the cow because you're the biggest right here. Boom. And then we're going to put a pause on you. I put a pause on you. No, don't bring stuff yet. Nuts on a biscuit. Okay, that's why we got to do things with the game paused. Ugh, because ugh, ugh, ugh. For those of you who tune in just to watch me lose it, you're getting your money's worth. This is the one I wanted built first. Crumbs on a cracker. There's our three. Now we're going to drop in, what did we say? The venison butcher. So here, here's our deer. We're going to, ooh, that's bigger than I thought. That's going to go right there. So drop it in. Oh, that's a three? I did not realize that was a three. What I'm looking at is the deepness of it. But you know what we can do? We can drop it there. This is going to be strategery. Because there's another building that has the double road. And I'm just going to see if this works. So I'm dropping that in there. The other building that has a double road to it, which if we start getting tallow...
Oh, there's 30. Okay. I don't see tallow yet. But if we're getting venison, we're eventually going to get tallow. And what we want to do is we want to come to this. And this has another one of those two deep roads. So we're going to do the flippy thing. So flip, flip. We're going to come up here. And it doesn't line up with that. So that's not cool. Yeah, this just doesn't line up with anything. Uh, crumbs. But what we could do here, that's going to leave a double space here. I was going to say we could drop a, the honey right here on this. No, we can't. It doesn't matter. Uh, nuts. Okay, how did... I don't know if I'm going to like that there. I wonder if we can maybe bring the butcher over here. No, it makes more practical sense to have the butcher closer to the... And that ain't going to work there anyway, so let me just go ahead and take that out. We don't really need the butcher right now because... Whoops, what happened? Because we're not getting any, any venison. I don't understand why not, but we're not. You, I don't want you built either. I want this built. I want my domesticated animals back that went in there. Holy nuts, that is going to set us back. And you guys are probably wondering, what are you going to do about a trading dock? I'm glad you asked, because it's about time we start thinking about trading. I know you guys. How can you think about trading? You know, you don't have anything built yet. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Let's get rid of this little hill right here. Boom. Let's just clear that area out. And you know what? Can we? I don't want to go one further down. Or do I? Yeah, I think I do. Maybe come to right here. Right there. And let's just go ahead and flatten this whole little area out here, right here. So we'll go cha-ching. Hopefully that doesn't mess things up too much. They'll go ahead and they'll clear this out. When they get that all cleared out, we'll go ahead and, and drop it and what I'm probably going to do is take this road, come straight across with it. Uh, this spot here needs to get flattened. I don't know if it already is or not. Oh, we're not moving, are we? He, he, he. Okay, so there go the um, all of those things. And it's already down. Boom. Okay. Yeah, I am. It is safe to say that I'm irked. I think I did this already, but. And you know what? I don't think that road is even going to line up. So coming off of here. Nope, that ain't going to line up. But we could go ahead and already drop in that one piece of road right there. Okay. Uh, future plans for this area. I may go ahead and put in our smokeries. Smoke shop, drying shack and stuff. We need to get that someplace around. Hey, we're almost back up to five. They get that well built out here. They sure did. And they're loving it. They're gathering around. Is it time for another house? Probably not since we had all those shanties built. Whoa! Whoa! What happened? 
How in the frack did that happen? Oh my God, Oliver has become an adult. Did our teacher die? No, I, I think those were all students. Remember we had those five students? And Burl, poor Burl, our founder. No, that's it, man. Okay, we just had a labor boom. Let's go ahead and open this house. Let's go ahead and open this house. And you know what? I'm going to just let this play out for you guys so you can just watch how this goes. Let's go ahead and do this number. Hug oh, domesticated animals. How are we doing with the blueberries? Did we finally get a, a nice count in? 182. We'll get some more cider. I'll tell you what. I think I need the cider after all of that. Okay. Are we out of laborers? No, we're not. Are we moving? Now we are. Where is my zero of one? Where the heck is my brewer? Why do I need two breweries? Okay, this, this game is really messing with me right now. Why do I have two breweries? Oh, this dude here, my mead brewer. Well, dude, you can't make anything until you get honey. What do you do? You build mead or you make mold mead? I think we're just going to stick with the mead. Whoops, hello. Yeah. So that's, see, that's why we need to get our honey person in. And doggone it, we're going to do it. We're going to drop the the venison butcher over here against my better judgment. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Ugh, 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 ugh. Venison butcher, where are you? You. I, now I'm counting on getting some venison. At the rate we're going, I might not even need this guy. So you're going to go there. I'm going to put you on pause because you actually need lumber. And next to you, I think we're going to stick that honey guy right in there. Let's see how that even looks. If that looks cornballish, then we're just going to go ahead and wow so actually you would be going right there space there yep yeah. space there and there's the honey and you know what you're not conflicting with anything you go in there because once we start making honey, then we start making mead. And then if our people have mead and cider, they're going to be twice as happy. So that's all good, too. How did the houses coming in? They got this house built. And look at that. We've already got a family with a child in there. How are we doing over here? A family with a child. Holy crumbs. And both of them are at an age where they will produce more children. Yeah, we're, we're happy out here, man. Okay, I think that's going to do it. Oh my gosh, I'm ending in the winter. I can't do that. All right, guys, bear with me. I might lose my intro and my outro on this one. And we got our fisherman. How's our fish count doing? Is he rocking it? Oh, my God. He is rocking. That is actually our biggest, our largest quantity right now is with fish. 
Do you believe that? Duck meat roots. I need to build that second tavern to make the root beer. The cider. Heck yeah, we got some cider. Can I put some more full-time people in anything? I, You know what? I slated this to be removed. I don't know why it's still there. Because I've got a plan for this little corner right here. I mean, as much as I want to drop in a sawmill or a water mill, a, um, I still like the small stuff. So I'm going to drop in a little saw pit right there. And the saw pit is going to make us the lumber. So I'm going to zoom in on this so I can get it placed correctly. And rotate it. See right there, those two piles that you see in the back, that's actually the back. And the empty space up in the front is actually the part that you want on the road. So like this. And I'm going to come up. Well, let's see. There's... That's going to hit the mine. I'm going to drop one space down. And I'm going to stick the saw guy. Yeah, I'm going to put him right there. Is that on the road? No, it's not. Good. Boom. Beautiful. All right. Let's get some lumber built so we can get us some butchers. Come on. Pound, pound, pound. Make it happen. God, I love watching them run this fast. Now I got to, okay, it's built. What I got to do first is turn off the woodcutter over here. Otherwise I'm going, oh wait, we never even built it. Good. Otherwise my, uh, my woodcutter might run over there. Whoops, where's my uh, mine up here? Go over and right here. Cha-ching. Okay, now we're in lumber production. It's going to it, it's going to be a slow build, but you know what? That's all right. That is all right. Did I screw something up here? No, the opening is to the um the opening to that should be to there. Stone, I'm doing golden. Okay, we're golden with everything. I think that's it. Now we got green. I'm going to pause. Boom. Uh, that's it for now, man. We have done well. <sighs> ah! Uh, even my cat's upset now. Yeah, I know. I screwed up. Okay. Before we go, let's throw in a honey person. Boom. And once we start getting honey, guess what else we're going to get? Uh, you guessed it. What else is, is slated to be built? Something. Uh, probably this. Don't need it. You know what? Always keep two builders. Why not? And then I'm going to open this up too. Just like this. So that as soon as this guy makes honey, this guy will start using it. All right. We are happy. Cemetery is built. That's it, guys. If you like this episode, give me a like. If you didn't like it, give me a sympathy like. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. If you do subscribe, or if you have, please tell 10 people. If you don't know 10 people, tell 5 people, 2 times each, and then have them tell 10 people. With that said, I am Grumpy Gnome. We got some grump on in this episode. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Out of here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.